Hey guys, it's Mr. Nettie. Here I am at the grocery store. I'm thinking, hey, let's check out how we round and get an estimate when we're grocery shopping. So I found one of my favorite aisles, the cereal aisle. So let's take a look at some cereals. We're coming over here and we're looking, okay, oh, Fruit Loops. We gotta love Fruit Loops. Price of Fruit Loops, $3.19. $3.19 would be about three dollars because we would round it to the nearest dollar well, let's find some others Ooh, fruit loops with marshmallows that sounds even better three dollars three dollars 19 cents so let's see guys what else can we find different so as we're looking to do a little different here and we're trying to find some that are going to look at the all oh, captain crunch there we go we got some captain crunch with peanut butter captain crunch with peanut butter it's on sale for 2.99 we round that up to $3. But if we look at the regular price, $3.29, we're looking at that to be still round to $3 because the two would tell the three to stay the same. So let's keep going. I'm looking for a special cereal. See if we can find it. As we go through here, keep looking. Honeycomb's good stuff. We're going and we're checking them out. Hmm, I don't know about some blueberry shredded wheat. I did have some shredded wheat, so here we go. Let's keep looking. And I'm not finding the cereal I'm looking for. Maybe I'll get lucky. Lots of Cheerios. I know we got Cheerios fans, right? All these Cheerios. Checks. We were talking about checks. All these flavors of checks. Let's see. Here we go. Checks. $349. So we would still, that's awfully close to the midpoint, isn't it? So do we go with $350? Do we go with $3? If we're going with the tens the 10 cents place that would round us to three dollars still so we're finding all our cereals are somewhere around three dollars except we get to the healthier cereals check out great grains three dollars 79 cents we would round that to four dollars because the seven would tell the three to go up so that's something to think about there so you get a little bit healthier cereals how about a big box of grape nuts Ooh. I like grape nuts. $7.29. We would round that to $7. The two would tell the seven to go down. So when we're shopping, we would round. We round to get an idea, to get a general idea. I just bought these. These were really good. Pumpkin spice, frosted mini wheats, $3.49 a, a box. So therefore it would be about $3. And it's close when you're at the midpoint. Let's come over here and look and I don't see the cereal I'm looking for. Kellogg's has a new one. It's gonna be kind of interesting. It's a new cereal that once I find it, I'll tell you. So guys, there we go. As we're doing a little rounding in the real world, we're gonna think about using those numbers that we have. And a lot of times it's 99, 8.99 for the granola. That's gonna round it up to $9. So there we go, guys. You can come over here and a little healthier stuff, right? And there we go. Get your oatmeal, $2.99. So we would take that. That nine tells the two to round up to a three. So there we go. There's a little bit of rounding. And let's one more thing before we end it. Yes, of course, Pop-Tarts. Got to talk about the Pop-Tarts. And again, as we're looking at the Pop-Tarts, $2.19. I would never buy blueberry. But the one tells the two to stay the same. So we would round down to the two. Frosted cherry is fantastic. So we would still $2.19. What if we want the big box? $2.99. The nine would tell the two to go up to a three. So there we go. A little rounding in context. Here we are.